Well, I've had a fair amount of interest in uh, people wondering how to change the odometer reading on these old mechanical odometers. And they're actually quite easy to get out. Now you can take a pry tool and you can literally change these numbers without um, taking it apart. But you, you take a chance on damaging the the odometer. See, I just changed that from 10 to 30,000 miles. It's super easy and that'll still work. But if you want to clean these things up, you got to take them apart properly. And this little clip pops off, but these little things are clipped in underneath on this side right here. They're kind of a pain to get off if you're not careful. I like to, um, plus this is all rusty. See that little clip right there? You got to get that off. And these, these hook, see how they hook right there? There. There's a second one right there. So they can be a little bit of a challenge to get that in there. To get those out. And then push this up. And the clips off and then your odometers out so see how it has these little things that's what holds it in to that bar to keep it from this bar here to keep it from, from rotating around so now I can turn these pretty much all any way I want but these things in order to line them up you're gonna have to um, click them around like I did that other one. So, you know, sometimes you hold them against something or or you just pull a little bit. Sometimes that that makes them easier to turn. There, Some of them, let me see if this one has a little clip. Some of them you can take a clip and you can just take this whole assembly apart. Not a big deal. Let me uh, see. I can't really see what I'm doing here with the holding this up to the camera. Well, I'm using my other camera and it wasn't recording and now, it, then I started it recording and then it stopped and I didn't realize it, but I kinda been trying to get this thing to 99,999 miles. Whoops, I turned that one, didn't mean to. But anyway, you just gotta sit here and play with it and get them to where you want them. So what I ended up doing on this one was just gently prying it out just a little bit so I could release the, the lock to turn the next digit over. And I turned it, well, I had it turned. It's, it's uh, off one mile now, which is no big deal. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll put it back in and then we'll roll it over so it's all zeros. How does that sound? But you can just, you know, like I say, just got to make sure all those are lined up. I forgot to mention, too, the best place to pry is right up on the top here. Now, let me see if I can open this up enough. Can you see in there? To I don't know if I can get this to where it shows up or not, but you can see the part that changes the digit as I open it up. And if you open it up right there, you can turn it past a lot easier so we're let's set this thing in and uh, whoops now I get see how I got a digit see I just did that and see all that now if I put this together like this this digit will be halfway between so I gotta I gotta get that all so there when it's in get those things somewhat lined up see how that's that's gonna look uh, if all those nines are even, so you gotta kinda just shove your little tool, and it's hard to do this, so I am standing here like this, and then there. Well, now I moved that one, so now, yeah, just just a b bunch of fussiness because you move one, then you move the other accidentally, but you eventually get them all. All right, but anyway, let me put this thing in and we'll see what it does. I guess my old GoPro is just having a fit today, but anyway, you can see how they're all lined up in a row there. 
and this is the side that goes in this little channel on the on the uh, this little channel right here that one and so you just kind of lift it up over set it down and make sure all your little clips are all in where they belong and then usually I do just make sure I can't turn those little clips and then I can put this little clip back on and it goes on so this is the end board kind of like this And then that's installed and hopefully it turns when I turn it hopefully it turns all zeros and hopefully they're all fairly even sometimes when they first turn they're not and I'm just gonna leave this odometer at all zeros I'm not putting it in anything, and if I sell it, somebody's going to have an odometer that shows all zeros. So there we go. That turned it 100,000 or all zeros again. We'll turn it just a little bit, maybe do a tenth of a mile. And then it'll be, I'm going to call it uh, reset. These, they're just, uh, and you don't need to take them out. They're just kind of a fiddly thing to do. You don't need to take them out, but if you damage a lot of times, you know, these places will just stick a test light probe and push them around, like right like that. But you take a chance on damaging the number. I like to take them off. And then hold these metal things or just take a little, like I say, just take a little screwdriver between them. And just right here where these top ones are, that's where the mechanism that, you know, allows the digits to all lock. And you can just stick it in there and then that will allow you to turn, like, like for this number I would put it here. For this number I'd put it here, like so. So you put it in between the number and the, and the metal thing at the digit you want to turn. And really it helps if you have more than, than one hand. If you have, see I almost turned that one just doing that. I could probably turn that right now, but I don't want to. I want to keep it all even. So I'm just going to, there, so it stays even. Because I had actually unlatched the, the digit just sticking that screwdriver in there like that much is enough to unlatch the digit. So you don't have to literally take the odometer out. I take them out because then I can clean them and I less chance of uh, damaging the digit. But there we go. So just kind of give you the, you know, the heads up on, and there's, you know, people aren't going to be turning these old cars back. There's no point in it. I mean, you can just look at the wear and tear on the car and really once a car is at that age mileage is mute anyway. A lot of times there, there's no real records of what the actual mileage is. And you get a 40, 50 year old car, it's exchanged hands numerous times and you don't know how many times that odometer is rolled. You, you just don't know if it's been replaced. So mileage is really, you know, not unless the car has been stored a long time or, you know, it's obviously never been a part generally you know you just got to use your judgment looking the car over to see if it's you know looks like it's been tampered with or not and, and you can look at these really closely because like I say a lot of, I've seen people just take test lights and jam it in just take the they just take the the plastic face off they don't even take the speedometer out of the dash they take a sharp test light and jam it in between there 
and flip the numbers. And a lot of times when places turn odometers back, this is the only digit they change. They don't change these ones, there's no point in it. You're not going to care about if a car has 72,000 miles on it and you turn it back to 32, you're not going to care if that, you know, this is the number that most people turn back. So whenever I, years ago when I used to buy used cars, I always carefully looked at the digit over here. And uh, it's, it's just really not a practice that's done anymore. The only, and in the dealers, you had to know how to do this because if you replaced a speedometer head under warranty back in the day when cars had mechanical uh, odometers, you had to set the mileage on the new odometer to match the old one. That, you know, that's kind of a law. You can't get around it. I'm just going to save this one for now. And uh, In fact, I might paint the needle on this one with that. I got my needle paint. So I might uh, paint the needle on that, and that'll be in a different video. This video I'm just going to make on its own, so it's just going to be on changing the odometer. And if I had one I didn't really care about, I would have, you know, taken all the digits off and showed you the innards in between these. I've done that before, but I, I don't really want to destroy this odometer. Sometimes you, you break the little plastic gears. You can either, this is pushed onto this shaft, and uh, this first gear is pushed on and the rest float on the shaft and then there's a little thing pressed on the end so you get either one of them off and you can disassemble it but it, I don't I just don't want to damage it. Well that's it for this video hopefully you get the idea of what it takes to uh, adjust a speedometer the odometer mileage you know so if you replace your speedometer head in your classic and you want the mileage to read what the car had on it. Generally, you can get them spot on. It just takes a little bit of fiddly business. So I worked on that maybe 10 minutes. It's, you know, no big deal. But um, I don't do them too often. It's, you know, since, since I left the car dealers, I probably do one every five years at the most, maybe every 10 years. I mean, I just don't do them that often other than... Uh, correct the mileage if I'm replacing the speedometer head. I'll set the miles on the replacement head to what the car had on it. I mean, that's that's what I like to do. I like to have the actual mileage showing. I, I'm not I'm not into one to turn, you know, like the Galaxy. There's no way I'm going to turn the odometer in this back to zero, even though I rebuilt the engine and resealed the trans and rebuilt the diff, you know, put new bearing, you know, mechanically I've rebuilt the car but I can't justify setting the odometer to zero because the car itself has 77,000 miles on it. And that's just a fact that, and I want it to show how many miles the car has. I want it to show that it has 77,000 miles on it, not zero. And uh, I think that's important. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. If um, you want to see this galaxy restored, you got to subscribe to my channel. There's no getting around that. And thank you for watching my video.